All right, so I've got a letter here from uh, one of my viewers, uh, Mrs. Brassneck of Tunbridge Wells. You're the most rudest person I've ever... So, reading between the lines, what she's asking is, uh, can you show us how to make a tomato tart? Of course I can, it's easy. I've got a pound of butter in here, I've got a pound and a quarter of bread flour. There's no salt in here because that's salted butter. If you use unsalted, put some salt in here. Large pinch. And I've put a small handful of uh, sugar, granulated sugar, just to put some colour on the dough. And like that, you can use it uh, to make fruit tarts too. You can add more sugar too, if you want. Come on. Get in there. But it's probably going to throw the flour all over the place. Not now it won't. I just want to make a dry rub. I'm getting there. I'll show you as soon as I get it. There's still um, blobs of uh, pea-sized blobs of butter like that. Just jumped out. All right, we're getting there. There we go. It's like a, it's a dry rub, uh, slightly clumpy if you squeeze it. I'm going to try and drop a couple of eggs in it. And just mix it till it comes together. That's good. deal with you later. So, there we go. Well that was hard wasn't it? It just takes longer if you're mixing it, if you're doing it by hand. You start in a bowl and just do a dry rub like you're washing your hands. Just keep rubbing the butter till it starts to disappear and then it's done. So we can take about half of that, or even less. And you don't need to uh, roll it out or nothing. You can just press it into into the mold like this. So I'll leave it. Uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch thick. that look good? If not, why not? Alright, just want to even it a little bit and then just cut it off. Lovely. So I, I doubled the recipe for the uh, the dough because I always like to have extra dough. Makes makes the doing the next one twice as easy. So then we make sure there's no thin spots. We put some grey coupon in it, in it, in it. That's a thin smear.
good enough. Then I got some, um, I grated up some Swiss. I'm going to put a small handful of panko breadcrumbs. Two small handfuls. And I'll soak up the uh, tomato juice that drips through. At least we think it will. Maybe it won't. And I've got more than enough cheese here. Which makes making a second one twice as easy. And then I've got some tomatoes. If you've got a nice little sharp knife, and I got more tomatoes than I need here, which makes doing the next one twice as easy. Boy, these are big, juicy ones. Free range tomatoes. Put your scraps in the middle. What's that? Get up. Not those scraps, though. that's all skin. Try and keep the cheese off the dough. If you know what's good for you. Well, I didn't think it was going to use all this tomato, but it did. So, two large tomatoes is just about right. And that's fine. And then what I also did previously... I mixed up some um, a clove of garlic with a spoonful of oil, last pinch of uh, salt, sea salt, and um, some chopped parsley, and we just use that as a condiment on top. That'll be perfectly fine, like that. I don't want to pour all this oil on there because. It'll end up going right through the tart and coming out the bottom of the mould. The oil's just to prevent the parsley and the garlic from burning in the oven. So that's it. Slap it in the oven. Bob's your uncle. Set the oven. Say no more. All right. So that was almost impossible, wasn't it? I mean, it was, it's beyond most people. They, they can't do it. It's, it requires skill that, well, it's only on loan from God. It's beyond human. Can't be done, that's all. You can't do it, so don't even bother trying. So, it's done. You can see the, the crust is done. Slightly golden brown, the garlic's all browned up. Tomatoes are cooked and nice and soft. I mean, you'll know it's done when it's done. It's, this took, um, you can see some of the cheese, melted cheese here, bubbling up. It took about 45 minutes, I think, at uh, 350 to 375. I wasn't watching. I didn't watch the clock and I didn't really watch the, the thermostat. It was at least 350, I know that. So. That's it, and let, let it, it helps if you really let it go cold before you uh, try and pull it out of the mould. Or you can just cut it in the mould, I guess. 